Welcome back everybody to day 13 of Breaking Through Our Matrix Programming Life Energy Training Lessons here with myself, Yona Prentice and Jeff Casper. Hey everyone. Your energy trainers or energy coaches or energy healers, depending on which state you're in. <laughs> uh, thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you for watching the video. Yes. Uh, this video in particular, I recommend to watch all the way to the end. We have a little surprise for you at the end. But uh, before we get there, I want to point out that this is uh, where our journey, our self-healing journey, breaking through some of the collective imprisonment that we experience uh, can take a massive turn. Uh, we've investigated uh, from a metaphysical, psychological, sociological, physiological <laughs> standpoint how or how we can get trapped in some of these uh, conditionings and pre-programmings that we as humans all have. Mm -hmm. Today we want to illuminate how we can go a step further and actually move into the place of fully experiencing this, fully yes. internalizing this. And this may be a little too much woo-woo for some of you, because uh, what happens when you begin to feel higher vibrational energies is that your perception changes, is that the way you talk, the way you feel, the mm -hmm. way you express things changes. And that's uh, what many of you energetically sensitives, empaths and awakening people have experienced as trauma in your past. It is that you want to share these things, that you want to connect these experiences with others and they look at you like you are a nutball, right? <laughs> and so we're going to attempt to give you a little better vocabulary for this, but also to reinforce your trust mm -hmm. in your higher vibrational existence so that you can fully inhabit that spiritual being that you are without feeling like you have to hide it or you have to protect it. Yes, and thank you so much for letting us know mm -hmm. where you're from. It's awesome to see all you guys' comments. Yes. This keeps us going, you know, while we're <laughs> doing this here. Uh, today's uh, lesson is particularly challenging because the things that we want to talk to you about are in the non linear in the non-dual area which means any type of attempt to to use words to bring form to the formless really reduces it so bear with me here if you hear me uh say uh ams a lot or you know <laughs> those are all signs that i'm processing energies internally and it's okay for me because I'm used to this and I'm teaching people how mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. So let's go back into how we can actually feel this sacred heart space, this pulse of divinity in us. And how can we uh, really uh, internalize our inner higher power? Mm -hmm. the, the very power that we call our self-healing consciousness or our higher vibratory uh, ability to liberate ourselves from matrix programming. But let me back up here just a little bit. We've already boiled down matrix programming to uh, the effect that the, the collective field has on us in regards to our perception. We already know that there are limitations in our ego mind, for instance, as to uh, clearly perceive what is reality and with it of course uh, the ability to discern what is true and what isn't mm -hmm. and we've also illuminated at least a little bit what it means to get stuck in the fear or in beliefs or in mental energies that, that keep us trapped in this collective way of perceiving things in this matrix paradigm if you want to call it that way. Also, we've experienced, and I'm sure many of you who've been following us here these last days have been experiencing this, 
what it means to get stuck in an emotional state. Mm -hmm. And we've offered you to, to look at this differently uh, in, in ways that allow you to see every emotion, every thought as an energy form, as a vibration. And that the only thing that is really needed is for you to learn the skill of shifting your energy out of this. Mm -hmm. But in order to shift your energy, you need to learn how to feel those different vibrations, if you will. There's a lot of talk about higher vibes and all that, but very few people can actually say about themselves that they know what these higher vibes feel like. And so here at Transcodes, we've created a whole program around this, mm -hmm. training people on how to feel the difference between those different vibrational states, how to identify them, and then how to work with them, how to shift out of them. But at the core, of understanding that everything is vibration and energy. We need to understand the power of alignment, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to <clears throat> matrix programming, because the, the predisposition that we all have is that we align ourselves to these collective matrix programs without knowing that this is what we're doing. So let's look a little bit into how higher vibrations work. And then uh, let's uh, uh, talk about the implementation steps that you can uh, uh, integrate into your life, into your physical, to embody this spiritual paradigm or the paradigm of, of subtle energies, if you will. One of the things that most of us understand mentally is that there is a, a kind of what we call replication, as above, so below. In other words, that there is a resonance, that there is some kind of transference between different energies or different states. What most of us don't understand, but we've hinted at this here in the first couple of days, is that it's much easier to change something in a higher vibratory state than it mm -hmm. is in a lower vibratory state. In other words, uh, some of these these deeper aspects that are very difficult for us to access with our mind or with our emotion, they really can't be resolved on these lower vibratory um, uh, levels of, of stuckness. We have to learn how to shift ourselves out of these states first mm -hmm. so that we can address whatever the issue is, like say fear or trust or betrayal or guilt or shame or you know these things that that are very difficult for us to to work with from this sort of 3d perspective now this said um it doesn't mean that energy work can heal everything all right so there are limitations to what we can do from a higher vibratory level however the boundaries of these limitations they disappear as we begin to align ourselves to a higher vibratory reality. And in the beginning, we talked about the, the discrepancy between our physical reality and our higher vibratory uh, reality. And usually this plays out in the way that we experience our, our physical reality as suffering and that therefore we cannot really trust in our higher vibratory reality. And this inner conflict, this inner disconnect is a major part of matrix programming. So the logical consequence here, trying to make this all sound, <laughs> to give your mind some food to make sense of all of this, is that we need to learn how to connect better. Mm -hmm. And in psychology as well as of physiology, uh, or sociology, it's very clear that connection is what allows a person not only to experience, but also to f find the empowerment and the trust to change. And so here we really want to point out that everything that we've guided you through ultimately leads to the same point, and that is coherence, that is connection, connection with yourself, connection 
with your environment, with the world, with the people around you. But you needed to understand first that there is a fallacy in the way you perceive your environment or the world or yourself, at least for as long as you never question it. And in a nutshell, that could probably be called matrix programming mm -hmm. in itself, because it is the inability to see beyond what you can see. And so here we want to introduce to you that there is a whole universe beyond what your mind can see, beyond what your ego can make up, which can help you in these, in these precious moments, you know, when you go into doubt or when you go into crisis to remember that there is more than mm -hmm. what you experience at this very moment. And we've talked about becoming the observer. We've talked about becoming the witnesser. Now we want to talk about a different kind of experiencing, and that is the internalization, the experiencing higher vibratory resonances firsthand. Mm -hmm. Well, and just knowing that they're there, that's the key thing to understand that we all, at some point or another, you wouldn't be listening to these type of videos if you hadn't felt something past the mind. And by knowing that they're there and by taking these steps that we're giving you, these simple little steps, you can not only begin to know that they're there, you can begin to connect with them through the resonance because they're always there. And every field is out there from, you know, low vibratory emotionality states all the way up to certain transcendence and, you know, even enlightenment. They're all there. It's whatever we choose to align to. The old saying, what you dwell on, you do well on. So as we begin to work on this and we um, actually experiential moments where you begin to step out of the mentalization of it and the, the contemplation of it and actually going into the actual connection with it, then you begin to even enhance that further. And this is the, one of the biggest steps. A lot of times we get stuck in just mentalizing and thinking and then we go, oh, we got this. You know, this is like, I understand this. And we kind of do from a mental level. But then from the experiential level, then we, when we really try to go into it, it's like, oh, what do I do now? So, yeah, there's one. a little bit of a danger here, <clears throat> and uh, most of you may have experienced this uh, if you've been around the New Age corner, and that is uh, what Jeff just said, you know, thinking that you already got this by <laughs> understanding it. Mm -hmm. And the second danger is uh, uh, going into fantasy with it yeah. and, uh, like, filling in the gap through your mind. Mm -hmm. Just real quick here, as a, as a little fun fact, you know, your mind lags behind okay we've already um talked about the signal processing it is uh, uh it takes a, a a few seconds for your mind to really catch up with what is going on mm -hmm. and uh, then trying to take over control so when you are trying to experience um higher vibratory states you have to understand that your mind will probably uh jump in after about two, two and a half seconds. Mm -hmm. Tries to fill in the gap, yes. Yes, and tries mm -hmm. to give it form. Mm -hmm. And the fantasizing with the building castles or the, 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 the you know, going into a, a place, you know, of waterfalls and unicorns, as we call it. Not that there's anything wrong with this. Right. We'll actually talk about this here mm -hmm. today. But uh, it, the, you need to be able to discern whether it is your mind starting to make that up and more or less rehashing, you know, past uh, experiences or if you are actually experiencing this right now. And this has a lot to do with our willingness and also ability to be fully present in the moment. Mm -hmm. And being fully present in the moment, uh, again, leads back to uh, being willing to truly feel our feelings mm -hmm. and our thoughts. And then becoming able to shift out of them, to set them aside. And these are things that, um, you know, can be learned through mindfulness. So this is where this, this, this whole mindfulness movement comes from, because every single study that, that was made uh, supports this empirical experience that people have, and mm -hmm. namely that they can... Um, literally change the way they see things and the way they experience things in the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to be able to unlock this uh, phenomenal inner power that we have, uh, we need to understand 
the importance of connection, not just connection with the moment, not just connection with, uh, you know, a certain concept, mental concept, but the connection within and also with the larger, you know, the, the, the larger universe, if you will. So there's a lot of talk about universal energies and divine universal field. And a lot of people throw these terms around like a, as if you eat those for breakfast. Uh, but then when it comes to actually being there and actually experiencing them, uh, the air gets uh, uh, rather thin. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when you find yourself in a place where you experience the world as hostile or other people as hostile uh, then you know that uh, you're not quite there yet not not to disencourage you here at this moment but um, this is coming from a place of of ego perception uh, as soon as you move into the connection with all there is and as soon as you begin to feel this creation power in yourself mm -hmm. you l can let go of the fear you can let go of the attack that you perceive you can let go of the dualism of this conflict that resides in you intrinsically mm -hmm. the one that we all have as humans we talked about this yesterday so uh, when it comes to uh, aligning to practical energies um, we often recommend people to align to the purest forms mm -hmm. of of universal divine energies here on this planet and that is the planet itself it is gaia as many call it or nature itself because it represents you know, creation energy um in all its expressions with the good and the bad and the ugly the beautiful and the non-dualistic all at once there is no good or bad in nature. There is no goal in nature other than constantly evolving, constantly going into this self-reflection, feedback, and correction. And that's uh, why, and we're not the only ones, obviously, uh, there is so much talk about spending time in nature mm -hmm. and really using this energy form that is presented here all around you as your guidance, as your pathway to connect to the very same power within you. However, there are other representations of divine universal energies and I want to make this very clear that there is a place and a time on our journey where exploring the mystical can be very useful because these other energies, if you will, they all exist in the subtle realm. And so once we've uh, found the, the, the power in nature, we will begin to see and perceive other things as well. We will see maybe colors or shapes or lights or uh, geometries or power animals or angel beings or uh, all kinds of mystical things that um, you know that are usually uh, portrayed as uh, higher vibratory things however these are all just representations mm -hmm. of our archetypal collective consciousness it is useful to explore them but it is not useful to externalize your power to them mm -hmm. again this is something that we see in this uh, new age um, esoteric scene a lot is that they're basically just replacing one externalization with the other mm -hmm. so one of the great discernment tools here for you that we want to 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 transport to you here with this lesson is to watch this, you know, it's okay to explore it. It's okay mm -hmm. to go into the subtle. We want to encourage you to do this, but it is a danger to externalize, you know, your 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 daily state or you know how you see the world uh, to what the angel being said. 
you know, or what uh, your horoscope is for the day, or, um, you know, what the uh, light beings um, uh, presented to you in your dreams. Because then you, again, are not really in power of that. So what we want you to do here uh, with this lesson is not just understanding that there are different layers of, of vibratory states and they all present themselves differently. We want to encourage you to explore this, but to always stay in the center of your center, to mm -hmm. always stay in your heart. Well, that you nailed it there. I mean, that's that's the big thing because you know I have a very strong visual ability. So a lot of times it was so easy to get caught up in all these visions that would come in and all that. But in reality, as long as you stay in your heart and in your feelings, like I begin to notice what made me feel expansive and what, what didn't. And I might have a really interesting you know dream come in or a vision come in, but that doesn't mean you have to follow it. What I always focused on is where I felt here, and I kept bringing it back in, and that allows you to go through all that stuff. And when you're out in nature and when you're connecting with animals and, and other things that make you feel expansive, it's the feelings that take you there. That's what brings you within. Yes, and there's a good <clears throat> question here. Are these uh, all reflections? Yes, they are. They are reflections of the eternal transmutation of energy. Mm -hmm. And depending on, on where we're at or what we align ourselves to, they will appear to us. So there can be times on your journey where, like say you align yourselves to um, uh, animal spirits for the first time, then for maybe a year or two, you know, you will see those animal spirits in your dreams or in your visions. And then there'll be a time where this shifts maybe into uh, angel beings or demonic beings or whatever. Those are all representations of the collective unconscious. Mm -hmm. What we want you to to, to or what we want you to encourage to do is to go beyond that, mm -hmm. all right? Go beyond this. Build your own lexicon of inner sensations for these different vibratory states, yep. okay? This whole talk about 3D, 4D, 5D is only half true. Yes, there's this 3D reality, and this is the one that we talk about when we talk about matrix programming, and there's a 40 and there's there's many more dimensions than that it's not about moving into 5d it's about moving into your own power it's moving into your sovereignty as a spiritual being which is not restricted by any dimension or form yes so it's okay to explore these it's okay to you know um uh, uh open yourself up to them but you don't need to believe in them Believe is something that comes from your mind. It's the attempt to give it form again. Mm -hmm. All right? So don't feel yourself under pressure that you have to have these great mystical visions and that only that is showing you that you are spiritual. No, mm -hmm. it's not about that. Mm -hmm. It's about connection. So when it comes to the, the physical integration of that, understand that your physical is part of the whole deal mm -hmm. and when you have times where it feels very difficult for you to connect in the physical be it with yourself or others mm -hmm. then remind yourself you know that you cannot be exclusive here it, it has to be inclusive it has to um, your perception has to include the all it has to go into the direction of oneness this is the kind of alignment that will get you to unlock your self-healing mm -hmm. and that will liberate you out of the matrix programming so in a way it is uh, your you, you know you're thinking that you are an individual sand of grain on the beach of life or or existence is what separates you once you understand that you are just sand then you can then you feel ready to align to your spiritual being without having to give up some of your physical joys, for instance. So there is a humility that we learn on this journey, but not one that leads us to d depression or fear or separation, but one that leads us to 
a beautiful humbleness, the same, same kind of humbleness that nature has. Mm -hmm. Nature doesn't need to advertise itself. It just is. And so with this lesson here, we are moving from the doingness of the old paradigm into the beingness mm -hmm. of the new paradigm of higher vibratory living. On a practical level, uh, it, you can uh, do quite a few things here to align yourselves. And you don't need to be afraid. None, none of these are, are woo-woo things. But <laughs> uh, we have a little um, gift for you at the very end here that you can use. You put this into action. But on a physical level, uh, the, the step here would be to um, truly align with nature more, to spend more time mm -hmm. with plants, with, you know, the beach, the woods, the desert, whatever appeals to you, mm -hmm. to spend more time with animals and to really focus on being in the moment with these energies and mm -hmm. what they do to you. By now, you, you should have some more reference feelings about your you, your physical well-being, you, your emotions, and your thoughts. And so you will be able to, to do this by just sort of feeling into what does this do? Mm -hmm. You know, how am I feeling? How am I truly feeling right now? Mm -hmm. There's many techniques, of course, that can be learned here in conjunction with using nature energies to to clear yourself to connect to integrate and so forth this is what we teach here in the sacred self-healing environment and well and once you get that reference point when you walk through nature or sit by a tree or you know by the, the beach or whatever and you get that feeling within you begin to notice where else you feel that like i notice it when my dog wags his tail i can feel the same thing i notice it when the cat we have we are a little kitty cat purrs that makes me feel the same way when certain music plays you begin to get reference points for multiple things that can add to this feeling within you. Yeah, it's basically a step further now from yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's like really seeing everything as vibration mm -hmm. and beginning to, to feel and sense and, and emote this on all levels of your existence. Mm -hmm. So on an emotional level, you know, remember that every emotion that you find yourselves in is nothing but being stuck in a certain energetic state. Mm -hmm. And the same, of course, also counts for the mental. But there, you know, you, you have to go into uh, accepting, you know, that there are more things around you than you can see, all right? You have to accept the fact that your ego perception, that your mental, your brain, mind, you know, your mind perception is limited to the linear and that it cannot fully comprehend the non-linear. It's basically, you know, like the paradigm shift we had, like, uh, when was that, like 150 years ago or 200 years ago, when medicine finally accepted that germs are all around us at all <laughs> times. So just because we can't see them all the time doesn't mean they're not there. Right. On a social and uh, behavioral relationship level, um, the, the implementation here will lead you to accepting that there is more than just, you know, body language and the, 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 what is being said or what is being done, that there is a lot more happening between people, between you and the world than what is seen. Mm -hmm. And to start opening yourself up for that, we call this etheric interaction. Mm -hmm. So it's a different dimension of, of interacting between beings, not just humans, also, of course, plants and mm -hmm. animals and, and you know, um, everything that has spirit in it. But um, here we want you to open up that there is this kind of interaction that is mm -hmm. always happening. It is a constant transmutation of energies that you are beginning to <coughs> see, beginning to explore. And um, on a spiritual level, you know, the, this whole talk about becoming one with the divine, um, you know, that's something that is not a concept. That is something that can mm -hmm. be chosen to be done. But in order to feel this oneness, you will need to understand the 
that the spiritual practice of actually acknowledging the divine mm -hmm. is what gets you there and not just understanding it. Yes. You have to work towards feeling it, to acknowledge that it's there, to feel it, and then to allow it to permeate. That's where it keeps getting stronger and stronger. Very important. And so on an energetic level, uh, the, the way that can get you there, and this is repeat, is to fully internalize that. And this is our gift for you, those of you who've been following us uh, uh, here until now. Uh, if you want to follow this call of action and actually go and internalize this, uh, we're giving away step 13, which corresponds with this lesson 13 today from our Sacred Self-Healing Course. And you will have the link here in this uh, edited version of the video, in the description of the te text, for you to meditate with, mm -hmm. for you to really experience this. And uh, this will be part of your homework mm -hmm. as well, namely, uh, try to be open to experience this and I would love to hear your experiences tomorrow because we are now getting into this place where it gets really difficult to find people to actually talk about this without sounding you know like a, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> well that's so. the struggle though what you're talking about is the struggle because it is tough to put these things into words and to have people not jump on it so it is it's you know the the more the longer we go the more rarefied the energy becomes so it's, it's just how it is it gets tougher so we want you to feel your power to actually mm -hmm. shift your energy but mm -hmm. before you will be able to execute this say on a regular daily basis yeah. you will need to experience this shift for yourself and um, this is the energy work technique here linked to this uh, training lesson today is shifting through alignment. Mm -hmm. The corresponding um, energy training transmissions here, transcodes, is uh, grace manifestation. Yes. And you guys remember we talked about increasing the capacity for light and this has a lot to do with uh, higher vibrational living. So what we are helping you to train with this here is to increase or to expand, you know, your light body to really go into this place where you can hold more. And as you can hold more, uh, you can also experience more. Mm -hmm. And let's look at your, your beautiful comments here real quick. Yes, Matthew, it's cool that That's you have awesome. a conversation with your ego <laughs> about awesome. holding this yes. space. Yes, you know, the ego does not have to be our adversary. Mm -hmm. um, with all these training lessons here, we are mm -hmm. actually helping to get your ego into the boat. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, you know, your emotions, your mind, your ego, and your body, they have to be with you on this journey. Yes. And experiencing and connecting are the only ways to really convince them, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that this is real. Yes, I can't wait for your sharings tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yes. This, this concludes the training lesson for day 13. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk about how our uh, creation energy is linked to uh, uh, some of these unresolved aspects in us. And guess what? What are the things that most of us, you know, get stuck at when it comes uh, to fully exploring our possibilities mm -hmm. and and going for our dreams and hopes and manifesting our highest potential it is our inner child aspects it is mm -hmm. our past it is the stuff that links us back into our traumas into our pain into our fear so we're going to talk about exploring tomorrow and how to give ourselves that space yes. thank you everybody thanks everyone it's been a pleasure don't forget to smash that like button. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.